They call me Burner. Boy, AK, the original Nigerian Don Gorgon. And I'm here live on the truth. You get me? This is the truth with Olisa. You guys subscribe. You get me? Get the truth, man. Is it? No time for all these lies and gimmicks and anything. They get the truth. Is it? Out. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Truth with Olisa. My name is Olisa. Thank you to everyone out there. You know who you are all over the world watching this show each time we bring out a new episode. Millions of you and we thank you. It is the biggest show coming out of Nigeria on the internet. That's the bottom line. And the only reason why it is because of you guys. Keep watching. We've got plenty more coming away between now and end of the year. Now, a lot of complaints have been getting this too many men, too many men, too many men coming on the show. So we're trying to make amends, trying to find the, the top line females, those who are, you know, what the show does is the truth. We pick the people who are game changers, people who are premier, number one in their own field, people who are special, the biggest names. Therefore, it's hard to get them and it's hard to find them. They're not that many and we have to wait hard to get them when they're free because they're very busy. So today we're lucky to have somebody with us who really is special and really is good. What we're going to do is sit down with her over the next few minutes and talk about her life, what she's been up to, what she's done over the last 20 years or so or even more and find out where she's going to in the next phase of her life as well. We try and get below, beneath to find out the real person so we can really get to know her. You might know her as a star on the screen but hey, you might have heard her singing songs. But you know what? Today we're going to find out who she really is. That's why she's come on Truth. Welcome, the one and only superstar of Motala. You like the new dress? <laughs> I would do that. Yeah, that works. That works. <laughs> okay, all right. Hi. Yeah. See, no script, nothing. We just, you know, we just wing it here. It's very just tight flowed. budget. <laughs> mm, we don't have budget It was cool writer. enough. Yeah. Cool enough. All right. Well, welcome to the show. It's been a while. I know. Uh, we've been trying to get you for like how many months now? Almost like one year. I lie. I lie. The show is not a, the show is just one year old. So let's say we're trying to get you for six months. There about. Okay. So for those who don't know, because we got a little bit watching out there, I mean, I know you're, you're probably the number one female uh, name in terms of acting in Nigeria and possibly in Africa. Those who don't know who you are, just give us a little bit, you know, for those watching from around the world. <laughs> um, you want me to give what? Just to give <laughs> a little bio, a brief bio, or even Hi. a long bio. Who is Omotala? www.google.com stroke Omotala. Yeah, they're going to get the stuff. Takes it all. Yeah, you put the stuff on Wikipedia, you know, on Google. Let's get Omotala. the real deal. The real deal. Um, actress, sometimes singer, mother, uh, wife, mm -hmm. philanthropist, humanitarian, human rights activist. Am I missing anything? You did pretty well so far. <laughs> Well, this is hard. Friend of Alisa. This is really, okay. Friend of Alisa. Yeah, yeah. Very hard. Uh -huh. I'm trying my best. If I'm missing anything, just fill in the gaps for me. All right. So let's take us back on the journey. When did you first decide to become an actress? Was it something you planned to do? Did you fall in it by accident? Um, I started 1995, mm -hmm. and it was by accident. I was um, initially a model. Mm -hmm. I started out modeling. And um, a friend of mine was going for an audition, a movie audition. She was a model as well, and she she asked me to accompany her. So that was what happened. I accompanied her to this audition, and she went and she didn't get the part. And so she encouraged me to go try. And so, are you still friends with her? Because I would be with me. I don't be friend anymore. <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, her, unfortunately, you remember her? no, I don't. She well, if you are Matilda's <laughs> friend who took out the audition. Hit us up, okay? Let us know. Uh, all right? Uh, all right? Hit us up on TV and, and give us a real scoop. No, but seriously. So, what was your first big role? And okay, obviously, 1995, you decided, okay, this is not a bad idea. And how did you get that big break? Well, my first movie was Venom of Justice. Um, that was not the first movie I auditioned for, obviously. First movie you played a lead character? Uh, yeah, I played lead, lead characters role. all yeah. through, anyway. But. <laughs> But um, that was not the first movie I auditioned for. I had auditioned for uh, some movie called African Queen and then um, another one called... Uh, it was actually a part two of... of um, I think it was Nick had the Pretty Serpent. Do you remember that movie? I remember one, yeah. And so um, I got, I got um, a lead role or something of that nature. There was a sequel. 
But it was something to do with mermaids. I think I was supposed to be a mermaid, the lead mermaid or something mm -hmm. like that. And my mom just freaked out. I mean, I was. Wow. it was very hard um, even trying to convince her that I wanted to ask to start mm -hmm. with. And then the first role I was going to get was, was going to be yes. something, you know, yeah, so in Mami Water. Water. So she was like, no, the spirit is going to keep, you know, haunting us. <laughs> You're going to become a mermaid or whatever. Some very, you know. Uh, so did you convince her? I, I couldn't, um, she, so she didn't let me do it, you know, but um, the, the director of that movie, Reginald Devere, automatically um, gave me the next uh, movie that I was going to do, which was now Venom of Justice. Am I even saying the right one? Was that the one he... How many films have you made? Oh, well. 100? I hear 300. 300? <laughs> some, some sites that do the counts. Can you remember any of all of them? I can't remember all of them because um, unfortunately Nollywood got to a point where you know you would do a movie and then they would break it into, into several parts and yeah. then give it several names and so you would have to you know like try and catch up with this movie yourself. They, they, when you get on set they don't give you a title for the movie. No they don't. That's a script. Right. Because maybe is it that they don't want the title to be stolen or they're not sure Well that's the title what yet. they say. They don't want the title to be stolen but come on you know yeah. we know we know better than that. So at the end of the day it's because they probably haven't even decided or sometimes because they're going to break it into different parts anyway and yeah. they don't want you to, to suspect or probably to be able to track it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I don't know for so many reasons, you know, whatever. How much you get paid for your first? For my first movie? First movie, yeah. Um, I think it was 40, it was 40,000 euro. Which is back then quite a lot of money. It was a lot of money actually, I know. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I had very good help, you know, I have to um, do a shout out right now to Zebijiro. Mm -hmm. Then he was the sheikh, he was the mm -hmm. final authority still is, and still is, still is you know, is, yeah, he is still the godfather of the, of the industry. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very privileged to have him as my, as mm -hmm. my mentor, or should I say my, my father in okay. the industry. So he taught me how to negotiate, he spoke on my behalf and stuff like that. So I started out well. Okay, so what's your biggest paycheck ever for acting? <laughs> you really think I'm going to tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we were hoping you do on the truth. Um, okay, is it over a million? No. Naira? What? Over a million Naira? Five million? Of course. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, good, that's good for you. But I mean, um, when you first started and to where you are now, what do you, what do you see has changed in Nollywood, in Nollywood? Has it got better in your eyes, in your estimation? Has it got worse? You can say it's getting better in the sense that now you have more producers mm -hmm. taking risks mm -hmm. and um, should I say investing more. That's the ratio compared to how okay. it was back in the day. Um, and um, we have more artists now, you know, going to school to study uh, more. I mean, generally the whole industry, we have producers, writers, everybody going back to school, just mm -hmm. generally trying to better their craft. You think there's more, there's too much, but, there's too much quantity? 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 There would always be quantity. Even in Hollywood, you still have straight to video mm. movies. You still, I mean, if you really went on the ground to check how many movies, you know, like. You really get go, cinema release. There's yeah. a lot, there's a lot, okay? Mm. Um, so that would always be. You would still always have the low budget movies going straight to, to, to video. What we need is more cinematic movies, you know, yeah. and so that, that keeps the balance so that we're not defined by straight to video movies, which is what it, it is now. You know, and then um, so I'll say it's it's getting worse in the sense that um, on the other side of 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 the equation, which is the old Nollywood, because now we have the new Nollywood and the old Nollywood. So the new Nollywood is actually getting better. You know, as the years go by, we're getting better. Unfortunately, the the old Nollywood is getting worse. It's getting worse because now, I, from what I hear, actually some artists even have to pay producers to be in movies. Wow. Yeah, I hear this is happening right now. Our guilds are not doing well, so they're not representing artists. Artists are having to fend for themselves. There's a lot of abuse and all of that going on in the industry. Um, people are not being paid well. You do movies right now and they are broken into several, you know, it's even worse now. Like, off, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Do you and have then, that problem? Personally, um, not quite, not quite, because I defined my career right from the start, you know, so for, for a few of us, it was really what we made of it. And that's why we, you know, we were targeted at some point because they felt we were too... Yeah, yeah, the game. yeah. and then we were, they thought we were too powerful. And but just because we wanted some kind of sanity in the industry and we knew that we were, the, we were going to be the guinea pigs. So there we used a, ourselves. There was a time when the, the, if you didn't have 10 particular faces, there was you, there were a couple of other actresses, like five actresses and five um, actors. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have them in the movie, the movie didn't sell. That's what they said. 
That's what they said. <laughs> Did you ever, um, you know, experience the casting couch? You know, casting couch? Yeah, you know, when, you know, producer is asking you, you know, for favours to play a role, to give you a role. <sighs> you would be really, really strong to try that with me. <laughs> I mean now, I mean now, you know. Even then, you would have it back. now with the oh, kids and everything. Uh, and being, and he knows don't husband, forget that. Your don't... husband is out there watching, you know. <laughs> so. No, but don't forget that also when I started out in industry, I mean, I practically got married just when I was getting on, you know what I mean? Okay. So, I mean, I got married, what, 1996? Mm. So, did that affect you in a way? Do you, you think that keep, kept you more grounded? If you were single then maybe things you would have been a bit more open to, you know, people coming after you? People still come after you when you're married, <laughs> unfortunately, or whatever. That, you know, so I, <laughs> I really don't think it changed anything. I think uh, some people actually go after married women or married men even they, more. They do. That's what I hear, actually, and it, it is true. It is true. That's the truth. Okay. This is the truth, so, right? Okay. Let, let's see so, on to that. As a so, but woman, no, I didn't. I didn't have experience. You, have you been marriage. approached as a married woman? People say, I'm a, I don't care if you're married. I want to be with you. I want to be your boyfriend. Or, <laughs> Have you had that, had that approach before? Of course. <laughs> yeah. So how do you deal with that? Um, you personally... Laugh, you laugh it off? Or? Well, I don't laugh it off. That would be very disrespectful. <laughs> you know, I don't... I just, personally, the way I handle it, I try not to... Um, first and foremost, it's very difficult to get to me. You should know that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah. Um, it's So that, that reduces a lot of the stress, or should I say, that sort of... Uh, mm -hmm. So m many times, you know, they try to get around, they try to get my number, or try to get someone who's very close to me mm -hmm. to get to me. So that, you know, already cuts off like half of it. And then the ones who eventually get to me, always get to me through someone I truly trust, mm -hmm. you know. And so, um, people I trust will not be disrespectful. Okay. You know, so they wouldn't come to me and say, this is dude likes you. Mm. They will go, oh, you know, this person is your fan mm. and he wants to hang out with you. Or, you know, they will say it in such a... Hang so what I just... <laughs> so what I say is, oh, that's hang very out. nice. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, some of them, I end up becoming friends with them okay. if they're people that I really respect or whatever. And over time, they try, when they see that you're not forthcoming or anything, mm. you know, they just naturally disappear or just stay friends. So I okay, think it's so okay. Okay, you, so you, you've shoved them into the friends though. But I mean, let's be honest now, this is the truth, okay? You're married, I know your mm. husband is a great friend of mine, fantastic guy. Shout out to you, Captain, my man. Keep, keep up the good work. Have you ever really tempted? Tempted? Yes. Temptation is... Oh, I know what it is. Don't, <laughs> don't call me the Bible. Have you ever really been tempted? Tempted? Have you thought... Uh, this dude is not bad. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm human, I guess, yeah, yes. Exactly. You yes, have. I have. But what kept you restrained? What restrained you? What kept you in control? Well, you have to think of the odds. You're like, mm -hmm. what do you stand to lose? Yeah. You know, when I think of the things I really would lose, mm -hmm. I just feel like it's not worth it. What do you think a lot, a lot of marriages, uh, people in the entertainment industry uh, seem to be, because a lot of marriages crash all over the place, mm -hmm. all over the world, all over right. Nigeria. Right. But it seems like the ones who are in the entertainment industry seem to get more focused on that. Uh, what is it that makes them not, you know, not get to the level in terms of your, are people marrying the wrong people for, or just marrying for the sake of, I want to say I'm married, or are they just like the careers because they're in the public eye, the men can't handle the pressure of being married to a successful actress? Oh, you know, that's a million dollar question, you know why? Because everything is just luck. Mm -hmm. I guess, and um, yeah, I'm going to say some part of it is hard work as mm -hmm. well, and I can only talk for myself, I can't really talk for everybody because I'm not in their situation mm -hmm. and I don't know, like they say, you know, he who wears the shoe knows where it pains the most or pinches. So for me, um, I'll say I'm, first and foremost, I, I think my faith has been very good, um, has been very helpful in my relationship uh, because my husband and I have the same, um, should I say, belief system. Um, so we, we, we understand that we're human. I know that he, he can't tell me that he's not seeing girls that he likes. I can't be the most beautiful, even if I was the most beautiful person in but the world. You, yeah. you know, you would still see one or two persons in life that would, you know, just tickle your fancy. Yeah. It's human. But it's I, a human thing. I think your husband but, is in a very bad place. Why? Because, because he's a pilot? No, not that. But you see, if he were to cheat on you, right. somebody would tell you. Or somebody would brag to their friend. Right. So, ah, don't worry, I just cleared up my telephone. Well, what if he doesn't care? How about that? 
Huh? What if what if he feels like well the joy of that is you know is that's a, better that's than a heavy price. You see, the, but that's the problem. That's why I said you know sometimes you have to weigh your options and okay. see if it's worth it. What about guys who actually feel like they can now smart everyone? Okay. What if I pay the girl enough to keep her mouth shut? You know, so there's so many variations you know that could play out in in such Has a situation. Of course not. Okay. Of course not. I mean, um, but what I'm trying to say at the end of the day is, it, it's, it's just not worth it. You know, I mean, you could try to be smart in so many ways. It's not worth it. But then sometimes relationships in themselves are not strong enough to withstand or to, um, should I say, disattract, yeah. let me use that word, any outside force. There are so many things that come at you. It's not just even relationships. So many other things. So you think but some relationships are not strong enough. So you, uh, uh, scenario, you think maybe because you got married before you became really famous helped you. If you had been really famous before you got married, would it have been a problem for your marriage? Like, I wouldn't like, know. Maybe he met you. I mean, how did he meet you? He met you when you, were, you weren't really well known. Well, you yeah, I was, I was getting known because yeah, I, just, I, yeah, so I just did not tell Harry Kelson. Did well, we met in church. Okay. I met him through his sister. Uh, we met in church. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? Well, what line did he use? Like, a lot of guys out there want to know what exactly did he tell you. Because some guys have tried that before, I'm sure. Right. What did he tell you that worked? Well, um, he didn't say anything really. He just. Uh, he said, Hi, I can fly you out of here. I'm a pilot. Oh, hell no. That would be yeah, so I funny. <laughs> he he just. Come fly with me. Well, something like that actually. Oh, because... you fell for that line? <laughs> no, it wasn't like a line, it was an action. What he did was he, he parked his car and then his sister said, come drive with, with me. And so I got into the car and she went round because it, like it was like a coupe or something mm -hmm. like that. It was like a convertible. So yeah. she went round like she was going to the driver's seat. And so I got into the car, not knowing there was someone already in the car. Uh, and so I sat down and I heard, hello. <laughs> so, you know, so that was it. That was my first. And then the yeah. next morning, he was in my house because now he knew my house because he had to drop me at home, right? Okay. So that was it. And that was how it all started. He came really. to your house. You didn't go for police security? Where, you, where, <laughs> your, where, where was your Miguel? It didn't feel like a threat. Okay. <laughs> I don't even think you, you had already, You already liked him by then. I, mm. What kind of car was it? <laughs> It what kind of car it was it? It was in the car. Okay. It right. wasn't the car. Just it was the hot. He was right. a, he was a, he was who are, you, who are your friends in the film industry? Females, male. Who do you get on with? I get on with quite a, a lot of people. I mean, who are you like? Look, let's say you're having a party and you want you're having an, an event. Who who will you call from the industry? I know you have a lot of friends outside, but who would you call? That's a real test. Now, who would you, <laughs> who would you you're trying to put me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Oh my word. I think one person I probably would call, uh, well, maybe Rita Dominic, mm -hmm. um, Omonio Boli, yeah. um, Rookie Sanda. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm talking about who on my BB really. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I would call her, yeah. yeah. I'm not, you know, we don't talk all the time, yeah. so and she's not my BB, so yeah. I'm talking about people that I can easily reach, that reach it, you know, yeah. What about the men? I mean, no male actors, no actor friends. For the guys, um, let me see. Um, Zeb, obviously. Oh yes, yeah. that's my father. Yeah. Um, so Zebedro, of course. Um, actors, oh my god. Anybody, directors, <laughs> Everybody. producers. You know. Maybe Chico, Jiro, his wife, maybe. They're not so uh, close, man. Not quite. Uh, look. Um, so you don't have any friends? Olisa, really? <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> I'm very busy. We are all very busy. I. Come on, okay. you all know, right. I juggle so much, but I, I try the best I can to, when I see my colleagues, you know, we, we try and catch up on all old times and everything, but it's just very hard in this industry, it's really hard. Um, so your career, like, a lot of people say, okay, that, you know, you, you're very busy. Oh, Chidi Mokeme. Okay, that's Chidi Mokeme has to be my best Lucky friend. Lucky Chidi. <laughs> and it probably comes with something red. <laughs> my favorite color, no doubt. Now, um, let's talk about your career. You've, like, uh, people have said Omotala should have done more uh, films outside Nigeria, that she was, you were too much in the comfort zone, you were the, you know, the, the, the queen of a, of, of a, of a, small, of a pond. small pond, as it were, <laughs> you, know, you were the mermaid uh, of the small pond, you should have gone yeah, out yeah. to the bigger ocean and done your stuff. Yeah. Why didn't you do that? Were you ever, were you ever, you know, do you get any, any calls from outside the country to do things? I actually did. I have gotten a few calls and I've had, it's, it's been a very difficult, position to make in my career 
I keep hearing this all the time and it's almost like uh, <laughs> it's like the elephant in the room mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. And um, so twice I've had the opportunity to relocate. Um, I'll say the reason why I haven't relocated is because it would break my family. Yeah. It would break my family. Um, my husband doesn't want to relocate. He doesn't want to live abroad. He doesn't like to live abroad. Uh, it would be very difficult for him to get a good job abroad because there's so many actors, uh, sorry, so many pilots in America. Most of them don't even have work, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it would mean me moving and him staying here. Okay. And so that was a very big um, um, reason. So you sacrificed that for the family, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Any regrets? Uh, um, so far, no. Maybe later I might look back and go, oh, I should have. For now, no. For now, no, because I'm busy. I'm doing so many other things. Like, you know, I'm building my film village and stuff like that. So I have had to um, change my, um, should I say, my view or my dreams and stuff like that. Right now, I believe that it is still possible for me to do collaborations, which I did one with, um, um, what's, I did, um, you know, the, what's it called now? It was called Bounce, mm -hmm. the one I did with Akon. Yeah, right. Um, hit the floor, it's not called Hit, hit, hit the, the Floor. floor yeah. So I was in Hit the Floor. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to, to collaborations like that where you I know, could do Africa, yeah, Hollywood like, productions yeah. where they would invite me. I'm actually reading a script right now, oh, really? you know, which I'm very excited Any about. Any from me? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that after. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, bodyguard yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah. Get your hand. Get your hand. So yeah, so that's what I'm looking forward okay. to. And whilst I'm, um, you know, dreaming of that happening, mm -hmm. I am keeping myself busy by, you know, um, you know, building my industry. All right, film, film village, but I agree, right? Right. What's the story with that? How far has it gone? Um, well, 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 I mean, my husband's part has already started. You guys must have heard about Aquatic Jungle, all the moving of the planes and mm -hmm. everything. So that's one aspect of that. My part is also is also on. Um, I'm also doing another one in Ikeja. Right. I'm a Balaji Bakantani. Um, so yeah, I don't want to talk too much about it when it's all done. Are we seeing it in 2016? What year? Inshallah, by God's grace. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But we're working very hard. So 2016. Let's say let's say December 2016. Amen. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. So that that'll be good. That's Before doable. That. Yes. All right. Fantastic. All right. Let's talk about um, family. How many kids? Well, we have four kids. Uh, daughters, sons? Yeah, we have um, two daughters and two sons. So what do they do? Okay, so um, my first daughter, Princess, um, she's in school, she's in uh, university, she's in her second uh, year now. She's doing tourism and hospitality. Uh, she likes to cook, okay. <laughs> you know, she, she thinks she's going to be a chef. We think that might change, but... Um, my second is Captain E. Mm -hmm. He's a music producer, um, so he's been um, producing yeah. and um, actually promoting, you right. know, uh, some of the tracks that he's coming out with. Um, the third is Mariah. She's, uh, we call her the fashionista. She's into fashion and all of that. And she's going off to university as well. I um, mean, two weeks, um, she's going to the state. Um, and the last, the baby of the house is Michael. He is still in school, um, in secondary school. And he wants to be a filmmaker okay. and an actor. <laughs> and you're, you're, you're happy about that one, that last one, right? Very happy. You're like, okay. <laughs> He's actually just completed um, a course in black magic. Are you serious? Yeah, with okay. uh, this uh, director. What's his name? Aki. Aki Alabi. You have to explain what black magic is. <laughs> Before the people talk about juju, explain what black magic is. Black talk. magic is, uh, is a kind <laughs> of camera. Exactly. It's a kind of camera, okay? So he just completed, um, and he's 13. So Are I'm you so serious? I'm so proud of him. Yes. Okay. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> All right. So what about um, the rest of the family, the extended family? Oh yeah, I have two younger brothers, Tayo okay. and Bolaji. Um, Tayo is in Lagos. He works here. Bolaji is in Abuja. He owns uh, um, what they call this company. You know, like uh, they take care of uh, what they call them, like. Uh, People who take care of your tours and all, you know. Uh, tour operators? Yeah, <laughs> something like that, yeah. you know. Your hotel and tours and so uh, hit me up or something. Agents, tour operators. Something of that nature. Uh, to, yeah. So like, let's talk about a typical day. You right. wake up in the morning, what happens in the, and in the household, the motola and the family? Depending on what my schedule is, you know, because they usually bombard my schedule mm -hmm. to high heavens and I probably can't breathe. But um, if, if I have a light day, I would wake up, usually we pray um, together with the family if the kids are around. Otherwise, my husband and I just pray separately because <laughs> he likes to pray on his own or whatever. Anyway, but if the kids are around, then we all pray together. And then afterwards, we go to breakfast and everybody just... That's the wrong thing. Yeah, everybody has some funny schedule, yeah, whatever. Funny schedule. But you're, That's you're, a life thing. You're like, you're the one, you're the chief organizer. You say, okay, you're doing this today, you're doing this today, you're doing this today. Well, 
not quite. Everyone we have we have schedules now. in my house. Everyone's getting too old now. No, we actually have schedules in my house. My house is like run like a military home. <laughs> Everybody has. You are the, the, the dictator. <laughs> I'm just the enforcer. Okay. How much um, how much money did you make last year? Now, let's <laughs> 50 million. I know you got loads of other, loads of uh, endorsements. I got a lot of endorsements last endorsements. year. I just don't talk yeah. about them. I don't um, know why. You got a lot of endorsements. I saw you on one uh, is it cooking one. Oh no. no, no yeah. <laughs> so you got a lot of endorsements. You you did some you haven't done many acting roles, so we know no, that. No, I haven't. Okay. Oh, you also had your reality TV show as well, so mm -hmm. that brought you a few coins. Mm -hmm. So what are we looking at? 100? 150? Definitely above 100. <laughs> so. I do estate, you know, so that's where okay, the real estate comes, <laughs> comes from. So let's say we're looking at... We're just hustlers. We're going 250 <laughs> now. <laughs> we, so make, let's say we make some... A couple of million dollars. A million dollars for that year. Yeah, million dollars, million dollars plus. Enough to keep body and soul together. And what does Captain? Captain now has his own too as well. So it's a dual income family with the... Uh, everyone's very happy. Our responsibility played too. <laughs> you have to first look at when you're strike this, strike that, strike Who that. Who makes more money, left. you or Captain? Um, it depends. I mean, I make money like like that, yeah. you know. It comes, it just comes in Yeah, it just comes like that. Yeah. So sometimes it's overwhelming, like it's a lot of money. And then yeah. you can I almost think you make more money. Yeah. But then if you looked at the fact that he makes... Steady. Steady. <laughs> then you you're have like, some lean times. Right. We have to lean where, on him. Where you wait. Uh, the like, waiting nah, game. Nah, <laughs> so so like it's, nah. it's, you know, it's back and forth. Really. Okay. It's just oh, like cool. that. So now let's talk about you. Uh, your favorite role you've ever played. Oh, very easy. Favorite but, movie and favorite role. Love me want to know. Yeah. plus movies. Must have one. Well, it's more than one, but there's one that I usually sticks out in my mind, and that's um, the, the character I played in a movie called My Story. Okay. My Story, I did that with Van Vika and um, Chidimokeme, actually. Chidimokeme okay. actually played my son. <laughs> Which is very scary the first How? time. I know. The first time I went on set. He's like they 100 years old. How oh, can he play? It? I know, and he's that tall, Sorry, you know. Geez. So I got on set and I was like, I was so eager to see my son. I was like, who is playing my son? Because I, I played this character, part one and two, I played from when I was young, mm -hmm. you know, like a young lady, okay. 20 something or whatever, to when I was 65. They made you up, right? Oh yeah, the makeup was good. Shout out to Gabazzini. So it's my story. Yeah, my story. And uh, any other one? Yes, of course, the classic Mortal Inheritance. Okay. <laughs> Mortal story. Inheritance is always everyone's favorite. Game changer. And then, um, I like the movie, not so much of the role I played, but I love the role as well. But it wasn't as you know big as um, so, like the, my story or whatever. But EJ, okay. EJ too EJ. was another. EJ very was good. good. I liked EJ. Yeah. Shout out to our sister who. Chineze. Chineze did a great job on that one. Yeah. Uh, EJ with uh, Motala and Genevieve. And Genevieve. Yeah. Uh, your favorite male to play opposite in a role. You know, there's some actresses who like certain people because they, they make them look good. They make them better actresses. Who, who does that for you, you know, in the film industry? Or an actress even? Who do you know that when you're up against? Because I did a film once with Olu Jacobs and I had to come. Correct. The, the first day on set, he blew me away. The next time I came, woo, I had to, I went home. <laughs> and did your I homework. Rehearsed, rehearsed. <laughs> I didn't want to make food. I said, food, no more. I'm going to be, so, but that, that kind of, you know, that kind of pressure makes you be do better. Oh, absolutely. So who was yours? Everyone really, <laughs> no one sticks out in my mind, you know. But I, I've worked with very great actors and mm -hmm. actresses, you know. And I guess, like you said, when people are coming on set, with, there's some certain people you're coming on set with, you step up your game. So mm -hmm. that's what it is, really. So everybody I've worked with, I've enjoyed. I mean, I can I can count maybe on one hand people that really let me down. Mm -hmm. Everybody else, you know, stepped up their well, game. Once they let you down, you say, well, they weren't very good. Yeah, maybe not just, uh, well, you know, maybe just, quite lazy. Or oh, the hype was too much. No, 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 about hype, but you know, there's the times when actors come on set and they're, they're just... not ready. Yeah, they're, they're ready. not ready. Yeah, you just take the role for granted, like, well, walk in and the park and And they waste your time this. because they don't know their lines. Yeah, they don't know their lines. Too many takes. Mm -hmm, and stuff like that. And then, so they don't expect what you bring and so they're like a little okay. bit in shock, but that doesn't happen very often. Who's your favorite male kisser? I know you kiss a lot. <laughs> Your lips are even, I don't know how you kiss your lips, I still looking like that, after all 300 films. Oh my word, <laughs> that's you know, strange. Kiss, kiss like 300 different people, right? <laughs> hmm? I don't even remember how many kisses I've, hmm. really do I? Ah, oh I think I remember one, Van Vika. You do kiss her? Oh yeah. Okay. Let me see, <laughs> my husband's going to kill me for this. <laughs> I think uh, your wife's going to kill you too. <laughs> that's the 
Uber. Yeah, because yeah. I've done like two or three movies with him where okay. we had to, you know, like romantic scenes. Who else? Scenes. Who else is a hot mm -hmm. Who else? You know, um... You did some bedroom scenes as well, you know, you used to do some bedroom scenes in some movies. Mm. How did you cope with that? Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Well, you know, bedroom scenes are not as glamorous as you guys think. Like, people are watching movies and are thinking, oh my god, these guys must be having fun. Mm -hmm. It is very strenuous. It's actually one of the most, should I say, uncomfortable parts of a movie. Mm -hmm. Because everyone is there, you're very uncomfortable, you're doing it over and over. Maybe if you're meeting the person for the first time and you like the person, maybe the first take you might feel like, oh, this yeah. is so cool. But, but when you do it like 10 takes, you're like, <laughs> get out of here. So if anybody you like, oh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, he's hot, you know, maybe this is before you got married, of course. And you thought maybe you, know, you could take, take it beyond that. Anybody you thought? Nigerian actor? Anybody, anyone, Nigerian or Ibo? I probably have worked with virtually every yeah. lead in Nigeria after, so... Um, um, Who was a really bad kisser? Who came with bad breath? Oh Lord have mercy. Come on, call I them out now. I don't remember anyone. <laughs> Allah Kuba. Call them out right now. <laughs> I really don't remember anyone. But somebody had dated me. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? You know? What do you do? You, have to, you call the director and say, listen, um, can we take a little break? A little take that break or a little mint break? No, you can't do that. So what do you do? You do your job. That's what you do. You just carry on kissing you, the person. You kiss them. Oh, <laughs> you're an actor. That's what you're paid to do. You do your job, and nobody needs to see that that doesn't look good. Or that doesn't taste good. You just do your job. All right. Okay. Well, it's been fun chatting with you. Uh, so, Thank what is you. the next? Uh, let's say the uh, film village. There's some other things you're working on as well. Um, so what's what's the uh, what's next in line? Uh, new movie with script you have there. What do we see on Mozilla? Where do we see you five years time? Hopefully, um, I'll be back in the movies, shooting movies again, and very frequently uh, would have better movies now coming out more in more in more numbers. Um, I would be. Um, at the forefront of the business in Nollywood, which is what I'm hoping to achieve right now, well, I'm hoping that we can actually put down infrastructures. These are things that we don't have. Um, and these are the things that count the numbers. This is how you, you, you know, attract investors. And so this is what I'm trying to do. I'm having a few meetings with um, industry players outside the country. Mm -hmm. We're hopefully trying to, you know, attract them to come in here, like Arthur Sukuran, who was the mm -hmm. director for Gravity. Right. A few of them like that. And the same things keep coming up. You guys have no infrastructure, you have no good studio, cinema, stuff like that. So there are a few of my colleagues also that I know that are There's a few people working on that. Yeah, they're building. Because I, mean, I think the only way we can really... My generation is, my generation of actors. I'm so proud of them. They are, put, put it they down. They have to put it... If we put down a structure, Right. I know that the big players well, in the film industry will Because right now they go to so many countries to go shoot. Yeah. They go to South Africa, they go to Kenya, they go to... Wait, they yeah, go, they so go many through, other, but they never come to Nigeria. Well, that's because... And uh, sometimes they're shooting about Nigeria. Yeah, but you know why that is? Because tax? if you go and shoot in Cape Town, the government there gives you, know, tax, give you yeah. a 40% tax break. You yeah. Know, so these thing, are the things uh, that we're hoping to speak also to the president about um, mm. Buhari. Um, Jonathan did very well with the industry. You never got actually. involved in the politics. <laughs> yeah, I'm an actor. And you were always, uh, it seemed like you were dissing uh, the last government a lot. You know, you weren't happy. <laughs> what happened there? Did you get any phone calls? Did you tell you to pipe down. Uh, just things always happen. Yeah. Um, people call you, say, ah, why, are you, why are you disturbing the president? <laughs> why are you disturbing the peace? Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I really love the president. I, I respect what he did for the industry. I think he got that part of. of governance and he understood what entertainment could do for a country i just didn't agree with him with so many other things well, what about and my purpose yeah. is bigger than just nollywood okay. all right so mm. do you see yourself in politics running for office senator governor <laughs> you know? i don't know okay. i don't know for now all right mm -hmm. well it, it can still happen now what's your state never say never on those states on those states mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah Unless it's a good state. It's, it's a, a tough one though. It is. Very beautiful people, educated people. Mm, they're very, uh, they're very smart <laughs> like professors. Oh yeah. Uh, but uh, mm. the politics there is not easy. It's rough, rough, rough. It will be right. They say, we'll yeah, get fine girl right. actress, go home. <laughs> go back to Lagos. You're not, you're not, you're not, you don't belong here. I, I don't mm. think so. But you know, I mean, to, to go there, to work in such a place, you have to understudy that place. And then you have to come correct. You have to know what you want to really yeah. change. And I feel like Ondo State should be actually at the pinnacle, you know, next to places you, like Lagos. Do you, you go back there at all? Do you go there at all? Not as much as I should. Um, well, if we, if we told the governor to invite you over, maybe, you know, you could start something there. 
Did they you have go? last year or two years ago or thereabouts. Um, maybe I don't go nearly enough. Yeah, I think you should go more. <laughs> you know, you if they invite know. me more often, yeah. I will go. Okay, all right, good stuff. All right, we're going to wrap it up right now. It's the truth with Omotela. And I uh, hope you've had the fun hanging out with us. I actually had fun. Anything, you had fun, eh? You didn't know we see, and you've been <laughs> run away from me since. If you knew you were going to be fun, we would have done it a lot earlier. You know, I have problems with interviews. Mm -hmm. I've had a few interviews in the past, you know. I know, chat. no, but this is even better because mm -hmm. then now they hear it from the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. But I've had problems with interviews where, I don't know, for some reason, I don't know if they did to only me. Came out wrong. They just keep misquoting me and then they drag it like for yeah. years, mm -hmm. you know, I knew titles every day, so it just, it's very cringe-worthy, you know what I mean, okay. so it's scary. So we can, would, would that help to promote this interview if we did something that was, or said something that was uh, controversial? No, please don't. We, You're bigger than that, please don't do that. Okay. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, if you came out and said, you know, that maybe, you know, um, uh, I don't know, uh, Omotala was a man before. Did I even say anything like that today? <laughs> Lord help me. I'm just making it up. Okay? Don't, don't quote me. It's a lie. All right. All woman. All right. Anything else you want to add to your fans out there? I just want to say thank you very much, people who have been supporting Nollywood. I know we've not um, probably, you know, worked at your pace, but I'm sure you're very glad and proud of what we are becoming. Um, we just need your support. Thank you very much for giving us um, so far and keep supporting us. We'll try the best we can not to let you down. And to my own personal fans who have been with me since I was, what, I got into this industry when yep. I was uh, 18, yep. or thereabout. I want to say thank you very much. You've watched me grow. I'm still here because you are still there. God bless you and... All right, there you go. I've known Walter. How long have we known each other for now? You know, Lisa, I have known you since I was, what, 16? <laughs> now, that's, hold that's on a second. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> That's wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right. To be the truth. Don't right, panic. Lisa, I'm on All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>